Right. Of course. Sorry. Is it... Is it very graphic? It's your wife humping your business partner on top of the copy machine. How's that for graphic? Last few months I'd roamed every corner of the country, taking on cases as I went along. I didn't care where it was, as long as it wasn't Galway. God, it was God. Anywhere but Galway. none of my business. I gave my statement to the guards and that should have been the end of it. But I couldn't get her out of my head. The look in her eye, not just terror and shock, something else, something I recognized. Any leads, Superintendent? Are you still holding any wrong suspect? Guard, are you going to charge Get him? Get these people out of here. Come in. Yeah, look who just resurfaced. Jack Taylor. Well detected. Ed Whelan. Superintendent, no less. A man of weight. Oh, always the mouth, Jack. How to see the last of you. Uh, what can I tell you, bro? How's the investigation going? You think just because we shared an office up in Letterkenny once that I'm going to spill the beans on a confidential investigation? Only if I had something to offer in return. Oh? Something you didn't put in your statement? Are you deliberately withholding information? Maybe he came to me just now. And what would that be now? Oh, Christ. You haven't changed. I heard you got shot in Galway. Dangerous place, the Wild West. It wasn't me that got shot. So not like it's a bad thing. I say it like it is. So what do you got in the victim? Her name was Sinead Mungan, 32 years old. She was hit hard on the side of the head. Injuries probably would have killed her if she hadn't gotten two bullets in the back. So what are you saying? Beaten and then shot. Somebody wanted to make sure. That's where we found her. What about the girl? She see anything? No. So we're looking for her mom. Found her. Kid went into shock, naturally enough. She ran off. She doesn't remember very much after that. And the blood in her. That was her mother's. Mm. Now, what have you got for me? I think someone may have been after Rosie. You think? The footsteps. Sounded like more than one person. If someone was after her, why didn't she say? Like you said, she was in shock. I'll look into it. We follow every path, you know that. Yeah, and you'll pick the one of least resistance. Enjoy our trip back to Galway. Oh, by the way, when are you give him back the coat? It's not for last minute. Every travel I know. You've already got the coat. Where else there be? Poor trailer's in the mess. Fucking bastard. What the fuck? Rosie, come on, love. You come with me. Delete her. What's going on here? You, get the fuck out of here. So, who are you? I'm Sweeper Mong and Rosie's uncle. Nice people are off. Good luck, guys. Thanks for coming. Tell me. 
What's the wife got? So you're the one that found her? Most people would have just run away with the state that poor child was in. So thanks. Have yourself a can. No. Mom, good. I was a little lady holding over. She's a tough child. Her mother, I hear it wasn't a pretty sign. Nobody deserves what happened to poor Sinead, Lord of Mercy. It's only a matter of time. Kathleen? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Your brother carved her regular as rain. Everyone knew it, and you did nothing about it. I had words with him more than once. Oh, words. And then you want to fight for the family honour, and everyone bought him a pint? Happy families. What Eddie and Sinead do is nobody's business. And well, now he's gone and killed her. Whose business is that? He didn't kill her, I said. Shit. Loving. Hello, Bryson. Yeah. Stigs. <laughs> Wouldn't have minded a place like this when I was your age. I did not get along with me, ma'am. I stuck out the house every chance I got. When I got home, though, she'd always belt me one. Give that back. Look, it'll be dark soon. If your dad comes and finds I said you. give it back. How about we head back to camp? Talk there. I guess that's an all. Before you decide to sue Mr. Mungan for assault, think on this. Mm. Mr. Mungan's wife has just been murdered. He came back after intense police questioning to find a strange man with his daughter. It's natural that he should have reacted to protect her. If anything, he could sue you. Marvelous reasoning, Matlock, and who the hell are you? Well, I'm Bryson. Uh... Solicitor. Mm. Is this your office? My people are my clients. Why would I want to live anywhere else? Why, indeed. Well, Sinead's biggest dream, her only dream. She was good, too. But it didn't happen for her. Well, she hadn't given up. She did something she did of her life, but it was hard. A child. And a husband. Hope he didn't approve of his wife's career choice. You're an Aussie fella, aren't you? Of course I have, but... You'll be grand, lad. you got fuck all on me. You'll be grand. What? Whoa! Say it to me face! Hand the fuck down, will ya? That's enough now, Eddie. Come on, mate. Off with you. I apologise about uh, Eddie surprised you, huh? You bloody amazed me. <laughs> you went out like a light teller. Years of experience. Listen, thanks for your help, but it's a family matter. You know that Rosie's doing herself harm. Jesus, I'd no idea. Where'd you find that? I'd like to make you an offer. We know what your game is. Mace the Pavies. She got tons of cash under her pillows, right? You look like right pickings, all right. We take care of our own problems. Look, none of you is thinking straight. The guards, they'll do feck all. 
For them, it's only tinkers. Everyone knows they're always killing each other. So why do you want to help us? What's in it for you? Let's just say I have a soft spot for the underdog. We appreciate your offer, Taylor. But we don't know you from Adam. Come on over, you two. We're grand here. Do you want to come over, Rosie? She's grand. Maybe Rosie would like to talk to the counsellor again in the morning. Do you want to go see that counsellor? There's your answer. Come on. Night for a kidnapping. Come any closer and you're dead. I said stop. If you're gonna do it, do it proper. Come on! I said do it! Swift! You're taking Rose! Who's taking her? Waiting for. It's not your business, Taylor. Someone points a shotgun at me, it becomes my business. 